the brother has an ask a question about opening a um, business of um, banquet hall uh, the wedding hall assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem bismillahirrahmanirrahim rabbi sharrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa halal ugdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli opening a uh, type of a business uh we have to understand the type of the business that we open it should not be uh, against the teaching of the quran and it's not be um a teaching of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so let us first understand uh with an intention of uh, opening a wedding hall or the banquet hall uh we all are very well uh, familiar with that that in a wedding halls and the banquet halls and the catering halls wh- what usually happens like uh, when there's a very wedding party um and uh, we have all mixed with the brothers and the sisters all together and the sisters are wearing a makeup and into the fashion and the brothers are there and the sisters are there and uh, <coughs> the whole environment is being mixed up with uh, everyone so what happens they have a dance party and they have a music party they have a uh, shoutings and uh, like a music entertainment going on so uh, let us understand something uh, if we start up a uh, business like that oh we rent a place like that for an example how many percent do we expect that uh, uh, it is being used for islamic purpose like some uh, teachers going to come and they're going to do uh, islamic teachings and uh, um, and there's going to be a quran program like that it is nothing like that it's rare it's very rare there's less than 1% we see a uh, cases like that even not even that because sometimes they have uh, like a quran graduation party and uh, um they have a graduation ceremony so these are totally permissible but let us understand something from out of 100% how many percent is into something which is forbidden and how much percent that we use that type of a business into a uh, 1% and uh, we have uh, like a uh, less than 1% of something like a, uh we can say a permissible activity in there but um we know that most of the 99% or more than 95% activities are against islam it's, it's against the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's against the teachings of the quran and this is totally forbidden and this is into uh, fall into the category of like a fahish and uh, it falls into the category of um forbidden and uh, so so what happens like uh, the hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says in when it comes to something forbidden so the person who is a seller who is a buyer uh the person who hands it over so for an example if if somebody uh does have a business like that so people are employed that a type of a business it's uh they are into the same fall into the same uh sin so basically opening a business business of a sin that that uh the risk is not a lot because maybe we can understand out of 100 we have a 1% which was like permissible and the 99% out of that was not permissible and that particular all the 99% became into the forward gali that money is uh that risk is halal and uh, not halal so we have to find the business which is like uh, permissible and this is not contradicting uh, quran and this is not contradicting the the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam